Hello guys, and in this episode I'm going to show you a mineshaft design that I thought of myself. And I like this design because it's real easy to actually get down to the bottom of the mineshaft quickly. Because before I used just a staircase and it was a, took forever to get up and down the staircase. And this method, to me, is also easier and faster to do than a staircase, believe it or not, because you're sticking out a 2x2 two two square all the way down to the bottom. And that's pretty much it. So, I might want to show it legit. So, and I'm going to just go ahead and turn off mobs because I don't want them bothering me. So basically f first thing you're going to need is a lot of wood because you're going to need about 50 to 60 ladders. So since I'm too lazy to go look for trees I will just spawn in a ladders. And you should probably bring a crafting table with you. And you're going to need probably some sticks to get torches once you get down there. And then for, we're obviously going to need a, some sort of pickaxe. Eh, even just a plain stone one will work. So, And also you might want a shovel because gravel's real annoying. So... Oh. We're just going to do this down to the level that you want to start strip mining at. Now, now if you have iron or you one step ahead and already have the bucket, then you probably you're going to need to make an we're going to make infinite water source down at the bottom for you to fall into so if you have those you need to bring those along too but I but if you don't have that yet and you're just like just started the game you can go down here get iron find some water and do it while you're down here you don't have to have it in advance so you literally just dig down like this Oh, and look, I found iron just digging straight down. Oh, it's like, it's not like that's not everywhere. I just saw so I get comments about it. I'm not going to get all of it to irritate everybody. Oh, look, another one I'm not going to get. Another one. <laughs> wow, when I actually play for real and want to find iron, I can never find this much. I just start just making tutorials and then I'll find all the resources I need. And you really should be checking what level you're at. Um, so we're only at like 50. This is why you want the shovel, because this is not fun to use your pickaxe or your hand on, which I do all the time anyway, because I'm stubborn. I do not want to make a shovel for some reason, ever. I don't know if anyone else is like that, but... It's like I never have an axe, I never have a shovel. It's always my pickaxe and my sword can do everything. 
in my hands. I do not understand why this is laggy, yet I'm at like a hundred F something FPS. So but for some reason my computer does not like Minecraft that much. Mm, kinda unlucky so oh. See this is why you want the crafting table, because as you're going down you're probably gonna burn through a couple of pickaxes. So if you have the crafting mitch on you, you can just throw it down in here, craft your pickaxe, and then just keep going. Imagine we're somewhat close-ish, you know, we're at 27. I'm probably gonna stop at about 12, because that's normally what I do, but everybody I've ever heard listen to has a different opinion on what the best level to strip mine is, so... So, you know, you prefer 10 or 11 or 9 or 1 or 27. I don't think anyone cares. Oh. There. Fixed it. Although I don't think you're going to get much done at level 27, so we're at 20. And. Almost there. See, it does not take very long to get down here, so it is very quick to set this up. So you can start getting, you know, these resources early in the game. This is normally one of the first things I, pretty much the first thing, well, second thing. First thing I do is get wood, maybe some food. Oh, gold. We're at 14, so I'm going to go down two more. Like so, that gold's gonna be in my way. So this, I don't. I, one of these blocks is level twelve. Never actually understand. Is I don't know if this block is twelve. This block is twelve, or this block is twelve. Oh, I think it's this block. I think. I think it's your head. I'm not really completely sure, but we'll probably. Go. Well, I'm going to assume this is 12, because I think it's your head. So you want to go down three, three more. from. So if we're going to go here, I'll punch the hole out. You can go one, two, three more down. Okay, just like that. But if you don't have your water yet, then you probably shouldn't do this, but it, I guess it doesn't really matter. Okay, so now I need to cheat in some water. And I'm actually going to switch to creative mode so I get unlimited water uses. And you just fill this up with water, which... I don't... I forgot what... Okay, there. So it's... I'm positive three deep water will protect you from any fall height, so... You maybe even be able to go with only the two deep, but I am just always want three deep to be safe. And now we can switch back out of creative mode. And there's my pick. And I'm gonna take some of this cobblestone to pat uh, up anything. Oh, my water, so it's gonna take forever. And then you gotta dig out a little room. Oh, this gold's gonna get in the way. Here, I'm just gonna cheat it and upgrade the pick. We'll pretend like I found three diamonds.
dig out your room, and then you're gonna need to leave one of these things up. So you have because this you have put the ladder somewhere. And the disturb mine, I well, our water's gonna freeze because we're in an ice biome. Well, there is there is a trick to get it to not freeze in case you run into something like this. If you find glowstone or jack-o'-lanterns in here somewhere, and you put them underneath your water, and that's what to creative modes is gonna be easy. Um, since apparently light sources give off heat. And it should keep the water from freezing, so... Although I'm not sure if it'll reach 3 up. But... I'll just break this... What? How did it eat the water? Oh well, hopefully that shouldn't refreeze now, but we'll see. You might have to place a lot of pumpkins in here, but this is kind of a good lesson. You may not want to do this in a ice plains biome, so. Okay, and now I'm gonna get out of creative mode. This is why you need the ladders, and later on if you want to get real fancy, and it does kind of take a while to get up, you can probably do some sort of piston elevator so, yeah, I'm not sure if you need one on the bottom. Oh, dang it, the water froze again. I'll add more pumpkins. Okay, now I know it definitely shouldn't freeze, so... There. The, the pumpkin trick does work. You can also use glowstone. I, I've done it before. I just think it has to be, like, directly next to it. Apparently the ones down there don't reach three up, so... Yeah, I'm pretty sure... Ah, eh, maybe... And... Put the ladder there. You can just ladder your way up. And then uh, you can have some sort of fancy entrance up here, but for now I'm just going to leave a hole. I mean, any mob that actually, well, I guess they'll hit the water, but yeah, they should just randomly drop into the hole. So you're pretty much going to be safe from that. Uh, oops. But that obviously didn't hurt me since I was in creative mode, but I'll prove that in survival mode, you'll be okay for those doubters out there who say I won't live. So, this is the main advantage with this, is that it takes like two seconds to get down. And you will not die. And then I can come over here and start on my wonderful laggy strip mine. and hopefully find more diamonds because we found the ones in my pickaxe so legitly uh, yeah. see the pumpkin trick's working now well the faces on the jack-o'-lanterns have always creeped me out but does it look minecrafty or something I don't know so but uh, for some reason, there's always, every time I've done this, there's always random ladders over here. I think it's a glitch, because, I mean, I'm pretty sure that's, I mean, it's like, can't break it. So, I don't know if I just discovered some random glitch in the game, but there's like, invincible blocks, and like, a ladder I don't think actually exists.
I guess you could pull some. This is on a multiplayer server or something. I guess you could pull a prank on your friend and like take the water out, and then when they go to start mining, they'll jump down the hole and then they'll hit it and die. Uh, that that'd be pretty funny. Well, so that is my mine shaft design. I hope you guys like it, and maybe you can implement some things like this into your world. And if you're tired of walking up and down stairs, so I will see you until next time.